Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to view all epics here in Jira. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Jira, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Viewing all epics in Jira is a straightforward process that can be done in several ways depending on how your Jira instance is configured and the tools or plugins you have available. Because for one, Jira is an essential aspect of managing projects effectively, especially in an environment where you are working with multiple freelancers, clients, and team members within the organizations. It helps all of you guys understand the broader scope of the work being done. Now, I'm going to a specific project here, that is this one. And I'm going to go to the backlog. Wherein this is one of the easiest way to view all epics here in Jira. All right. So now here, when I navigate to the backlog a section, make sure you are on the backlog view not on the board and open the epics panel if you can't find the epic panel here on the left side you might want to go to the settings the view settings because you need to check that otherwise you're not going to see the epics panel all right and then after that you need to create issue an epic for example this one i'm going to just enter that just for the sake of tutorial now on the timeline here you need to add an issue, a child issue. I'm sorry. View details. Choose any issue type, for example, um, maybe this one and press enter. Now, once you have that created, I need you to go to the planning on the left side. There's going to be an option that says view settings. Just click on expand all epic issues. That's one way. You see that? You can also collapse all epic issues if you don't want it. Now, you see there's going to be an option here that says completed epic issues with due dates outside of this range won't show on your timeline. So you have multiple options here. For example, you wanted to see the... Uh, epics like nine months ago six three and one depending on your um of course so here going to expand all epic issues if i wanted to create another epic for example deep laughs epic i'm gonna press enter right now all right say for example i was here on the uh, backlog because i can't find it if you hover again to the timeline this is in collapse you were not going to be able to see that. I need you to click on the expand all issues so you'd be able to see the uh, epics here. The following option is going to be using the filters. Okay. Now in this um, instance, go to view all issues and there's going to be the issue navigator. All right. On the field, I want you to switch to basic because we're on JQL. All right. This one. I want you to change the uh, type to epic, right? You see, you can now, all I will have to do is go here and these are going to be all your epics in one place, all right? So you can change the epic from bug, story task, and a lot more, but of course, just using the epic. So these are the epics that you are currently using, all right? Now, now another option that we can use or explore is using the advanced search jql or jira query language now we are on the basic mode if you switch to the jql you would be forwarded here right now i want you to type in the following code and that's going to be um issue type space equal sign space type in epic to see if we get an answer you see that's another way for you to check the uh, 
or view all epics here in Jira. It's a very straightforward process when entering the following GQL query. This query will list all epics across all projects you have access to. And of course, you can further refine the search by spe specifying a project name or other criteria for example you can use the uh, deep laughs right that and you would be able to do so all right that is one of the uh, ways for you to do it now another option that you can explore is go to the apps click on explore more apps and one of the best way for you to use our third-party apps available here is um plugins like portfolio for jira type that in press enter or this one port project portfolio management for jira because you would be able to have an access to a different uh tools dashboards scrum board and charts another option that you could use is big picture which offers advanced capabilities to view manage and report on epics across multiple projects all you have to do is click the button right here, take it free, it'll load, and you can start free trial. You see, you can perform the following actions. There's a lot, but one of them is getting the uh, epic. But of course, if you this is only applicable if you wanted more control over the uh, epic uh, across multiple projects if you're dealing with the uh, large data sets on the bottom left you would be see uh, the status that the app is being added all right just wait let's wait for it now jira provides multiple ways to view and manage epics whether you're looking for a simple list or more detailed visual representation using the appropriate view or tool now now once the uh, app is added we will see uh, the successful um, status here at the bottom and now we're going to navigate the issue navigator right so it's successfully added click on the manage apps wait for it we will be forwarded here on this setting all right of course we can tweak some uh settings here loading app details now click on the get started button here Now doing so, all we're gonna do is just wait for it. There's a lot executing upgrade task number. We are going to have a an in-depth tutorial about using big picture on how to view all epics in one separate tutorial. But for now, you just have to follow the on-screen prompts. And viewing all epics in Jira is very crucial for effective management, helping teams maintain a high level of view for their work, prioritize tasks manage dependencies and of course ensure alignment with business needs that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video